Okay, good morning. Welcome to Family Math number 200A. Family Math 200A. Uh, this is a really neat problem from uh, Art of Problem Solving. It has a fun coincidence with um, something that Patrick Hunter put on um, Twitter the other day. So I thought we'd just talk about this live. It'd probably take about four movies or so because I'm going to do three different things actually. Um, and this is in the introduction to Huron's formula, which we'll get to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a 13, 14, 15 triangle. It has a really cool property. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the area of this 13, 14, 15 triangle. And we're going to do it by dropping a perpendicular to the side whose length is 14. Okay? So if I call that height h and this bit over here x, what's this other part over here? Well, this is 14 minus x. 14 minus x. Okay? And we're going to find a neat relationship between x and h here to help us find uh, solve for what x and h are, and then help us find the area of the triangle, because what is the area of the 13, 14, 15 triangle going to be once I have solved x for x and h? It's one half 14 times h. Okay, so the area is one half times 14 times whatever h is. Okay, so what is one equation that you can see that's going to relate x and h here? Well, what about this other triangle with the 13 as the hypotenuse? Okay, what equation are you going to get from that? Well, we have because x squared times h squared, one half x squared times h, h squared. Actually, x squared plus h squared is 13 squared. Okay, x squared plus h squared is 13 squared. Well, I know. I know a triangle with 13 as its hypotenuse. What is it? It's a, I know a 5, 12, 13. Ooh, interesting. Okay. That might help us. Maybe this will be 5, 12, 13. Do you see any other equations that relate x and h in this diagram? Well, we could do the other right triangle. Okay. We have four, 14 minus x squared. plus h squared is 15 squared. Interesting. So, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time when you have two unknowns and two variables, or it's two equations, I mean, two variables, two equations, most of the time you can solve them. What do you think would be a good approach to solving, to try to solve these equations? Well, maybe we could add them together and see what see what we get. Right. Actually, subtracting them would be better. Okay. Well, because then we got less to worry about. We can figure out what x is because there's going to be an x squared somewhere in this, and when we subtract this from this, we're going to cancel out the x squared and the h. Yeah. So these equations both have an h squared in them, so it might be actually really interesting to subtract them and, and just see what happens, right? Yeah. All right, so let's do that in the, in the next video, okay?